Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host there. Once again, it is Team Right Right. Now, before I get this video started, I just wondering, anyone out there on social media had a chance to watch the video from earlier today? If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. Now, if that doesn't work out, hit the subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment from the article, and do the same thing for right now. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, check out both videos. Now it is time once again to get this video started and I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. So um, if you don't do not yet, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject and of course the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, was anybody out there a fan of Jack Swanger? Not me. He was like a, a Kurt Angle ripoff version. It just did not, it just did not feel right with this character. They, you know, they should give him a different character. You know, we did people. I didn't like that character. It was stupid. Um, they didn't really use him correctly. They use him a Kurt Angle ripoff. That's all. You know, the ankle lock. And it was dumb. I know some people out there on social media love him. You know, he was just a average guy in the square circle. He would never be in the W Hall of Fame. It sucks, you know? Now, there's a lot of W superstars are unhappy. If they're unhappy, then freaking leave. What is stopping you? You know, just ask for your release. If they say no, they say no. But if they say yes, then they will release you, you know? Or, you could be like CM Punk, just walk out and never ever come back. Or you could be like Austin, walk out and never ever come back. Or you could be like Sasha Banks, be in a bad mood because she didn't get her away at WrestleMania. So she's very, very bitter at the company. So, listen to this. Jack Swagger publicly announced that he would be part ways with WWE. He was able to leave the company at that time. However, W has new tackling that I know I messed up that makes him a superstar stay. I don't know, I, I think I told a bunch of Swagger heard about several W superstars being unhappy, of course, with the company and he is not surprised at all. Being a WWE superstar can become a trend affair thing don't go right while speaking to pro wrestling 24 7 swagger talked about so many w superstars waiting to leave the company it is a very difficult life that swagger is thankful for but isn't for everyone you're right about that now a lot of them you know if you want to be a WWE Superstar, you're going to be on the road, what, 365 days a year? That's crazy. I don't know how much days off you get. Very, very little. Why you buy a beautiful house? Why you buy a beautiful mansion if you can never enjoy it? WWE Superstars, athletes, celebrities, you're always on the road. You're always doing the special appearances, you know? You know, I don't understand. The only time you could enjoy your... Downtime if you're injured, retired, or on vacation. But if you're on vacation, you want to get out of your damn house. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's not for everyone to be a WWE superstar. You know, back in the day, used to come wrestlers, I think. No, I, I like the name wrestlers been superstars, you know, but that is the WWE uh, entertainment thing, you know. So, I know it looks so awesome on TV, but behind the scenes, so much drama. How is the show going to pan out? I think they got to uh, get things ready by the time the show runs. I think over the weekend, like McMahon and his family and his crew, they talk about it for Monday night or maybe four hours in advance before Monday Night Raw kicks off on TV. I don't know how it works out because sometimes things always change, you know? You always hear about the original plans for WrestleMania and we get this other WrestleMania plans instead because the original plans 
they change it so many freaking times before WrestleMania kicks off, you know? So, you know, I was never a fan of Jack Swagger. He cashed the money bank. He won it the next night on a Tuesday SmackDown edition. If it was live, probably people would be more surprised, but everyone out there these days um, went on the internet and spoiled it for themselves. I guess they don't give a crap, you know? Quit ruining it for yourself. If you ruin it for yourself, you will never be surprised, no? So, quit reading spoilers. Screw the um, people they bash Raw, SmackDown. Who gives a crap if the ratings are bad? If you want to watch it, watch it. But don't make fun of people. Don't make fun of the company, you know? You watch this company for so many damn years, you know? It'll get better eventually. Yeah, when McMahon steps down or something else happens. I think um, Triple H needs to tell his father-in-law to step down. He has no more magic. You know, let Triple H, Stephanie, and Shane O'Mac take over the damn business. We'll find out sooner or later. Do you think WWE is going to close the doors? I don't think so. They're building a dollar company, you know. Probably they make more money than TNA or AEW. Probably I'm totally wrong. So, um, that's about it. Let me know what you think about the article. I'm not going to go any further. Does anyone out there really miss the Jack Swagger? I want your honest opinion. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit the notification. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification like I said earlier. Let me know what you think about the article. Everyone out there, enjoy your Sunday. And I'll talk to you sometime tomorrow. Later.